here we're going to tie the parachute damsel fly. It's a damsel dry fly. I've been using this fly for grass carp, but trout and ponds and reservoirs love to eat damsel flies too, even small bass. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my damsel fly body material. We're going to be tying a tan one. I'm going to burn the end of the material just a little bit kind of mash it down with my fingers and trim off the little end so I have a burnt end. Then I take the part that curls up I'm going to tie that curling up tie that in about the length of the body make sure it's nice and secure tie it all the way back just before we get to the bend and I don't tie all the way to the eye, I leave a little bit of room here so I can get in there and cut it out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie the top part of the fly which is going to be white foam moderate thickness maybe three millimeters or so this stuff here cut out a block that's about uh, eight quarter inch or so doesn't have to be exact and of course the bigger the fly that you're going to tie, the thicker the foam you can use. And I'm going to leave myself some room at the eye. I'm going to wrap this in all the way back to the tail. And I can get a little tighter on my thread. Now we're going to tie in our hackle, which is just a brown, brown hackle. We're going to tie this on on the, on the near side, my side of the fly here, right by our white foam. We're going to take that hackle, we're going to wrap it around our white foam several times, building up basically what will be the, the legs of the damsel fly. This will also help it float. And I'm going to secure it doesn't have to be pretty here, you just want to try not to trap too many fibers. There we go. Now the next step is tie in the the underbody or the, un the part that the fish will see. And you want this to be the color of the fly that you're going to be tying. So let's say you're tying a blue one, you'll use blue foam. Here we're tying a tan one, so we're going to use some tan foam and we just tie this on right on the top just like our white foam I kinda of try to pull the hackle out of the way if you trap a few it's gonna happen but just try to get the majority of it out of the way wrap all the way back to that hackle take my thread forward now I'm gonna take this foam I'm gonna wrap it around the body pulling it fairly tight so it kind of snugs down. Usually it only takes about three wraps. And I capture it, pull the foam backwards and I wrap back up on it and then I can just tear it out once I've wrapped back up on the, the tan foam. Now I'm going to take my white foam and I'm going to pull it over the top, slightly stretch it, slightly pull it, then grab it with my thread and gently snug down. I'm going to trim some of this out of here. It's a little long. There we go. Now we're going to whip finish just right on top of that foam. Just work around our chunk. Once we've got it secure, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to cut this white foam and I'm going to leave just a hair of a head. Just like so. trim off the corners. This will help it float a little bit. And I whip finish. I always whip finish once more on this fly. This foam is very hard to work with and hard to snug down so I always give it that extra whip finish. And that is a foam parachute damsel fly. Give you a better look here. <laughs> 